Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create these simple floating health bars that you can commonly find in games like Dark Souls, World of Warcraft and many other games. So, let's get into it. And first we are gonna need to create our widget. So I'm just gonna right click, user interface and widget blueprint and then user widget. I'm gonna call mine floating bar like this. I'm gonna open it. We are gonna first need to drag in our canvas panel. So search for that, drag it in like this. Then we want our progress bar, that's gonna be our health bar. Anchor it to the middle, and then I reset both X and Y position with these arrows. Then we're gonna align it on both sides on a point 0.5. That way we are exactly in the middle. And we can change with the size our settings. So I'm gonna set it to let's say 150 by 10. So I'm just gonna fill in some percentage so we can see the color. And I'm gonna change the color from blue under appearance to something more like health bar, so maybe this darker red like this. Under percentage, under progress here, we need to create a binding. So click on bind, create binding, and I'm just gonna move the return node. And we need to create two new variables. The first one is gonna be called current health. And I'm gonna change this to float. And then the second one is gonna be called max health. We want to drag both of these in. Then we want to drag from the current health bar and search for divide. And then just plug them like this and then plug them into the return value. And the reason why we are doing this is so that we can get the percentage of how much health out of the maximum health we have. So we can compile and save. And then we are going to go back into the content browser. And I'm just going to create a quickly actor so that you can see how it works. I'm just going to add skeletal mesh to represent our enemy. Now we need to apply the widget. So I'm gonna go into the add and I'm gonna search for widget. We want the widget, not the widget interaction. Then in the widget class, we want to select the widget we created. So for me, that's floating bar. And as you can see, we can already see it here. I'm gonna drag it above our character and we don't need to rotate it because we're gonna, instead of space word, we're gonna change it to screen. This is gonna make it disappear here, but it's still gonna be visible in the game. And we need to project it on the screen because that way it's gonna follow our player camera instead of just being static. So we're gonna go into the event graph and we're gonna create two new variables, current health and max health. And both will be type float. It's basically the same variables we created in the widget. And if you already have some kind of AI enemy or something, we are obviously gonna have a health system and everything like that already set up. And then from the event begin play, we are gonna get this widget. We are gonna put it here under begin play, drag from it and search for get user widget object. Then we are gonna drag from the return value and we are gonna cast it to our floating bar. Obviously yours may be called a bit different, but basically just cast it to the bar we created and then plug it into the bag in play. Then from the floating bar, I'm just gonna drag out and promote it to variable and just call it floating bar ref. And we're gonna use this as a reference and our access point to the widget. Drag out and I'm gonna search for set health. And we want both set max health and set current health. We're gonna just move them in any order, it doesn't matter. We are just gonna plug each like this. And then we are gonna get our current health and then get our max health and plug them into their corresponding nodes. And that's effectively it. So for testing purposes, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make both variables exposed on spawn and instance editable. And I'm gonna go into the third person map. I'm gonna drag out, let's say three dummies. And I'm gonna set the different values. So this, this one is gonna have current health and max health zero. So this bar should be completely empty. And I'm gonna set this one as max health 200 and current health 100. And this one is gonna be current health 200 and max health also 200. So this one should be full, this one should be half full, and this one should be empty. And as you can see, it works exactly like we wanted. Now, something to note here, when we go back into our dummy actor, every time our health updates, we need to update the health widget itself. So for example if i just search for event any damage and let's say we have some function to take damage we, what we are also gonna need to do is get our floating bar ref drag out and set current health if there is a change we don't need to do it all the time but if there is a change we might also need to update our max health as well usually you don't change max health mid fight anyway so we don't necessarily need to do it and then we just plug it in again with our current health get it plug it in max health again that's just to combine it with the damage system anytime our enemy or our actor takes damage we need to update the health and then we need to update the health inside the widget itself otherwise it's not gonna track the health properly so i hope you found this helpful if you did leave a like and subscribe it helps out a lot thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye